Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the caption, today's video is going to be about what is in Ivy's hospital bag, my daughter. So I'm going to be induced into labor exactly a week from today, which is April the 13th. They're going to start giving me medicine at 9 p.m. and then I'm most likely going to have her the 14th. That's what we're planning on, but you never know. Anything could change. Anything could go a different way. I've looked at so many videos to ask so many people, what should I pack? Confused on what I should pack in both of our hospital bags. I've watched so many videos on YouTube and I finally got everything. I finally got everything packed. I really don't want to overpack, but then again, I want to make sure I have everything. I want to have two of like literally everything. I hate to overpack and I hate to bring things that I don't need that's just going to take up extra room. But then again, I like to make sure I have two of everything so I have what I need. But now I have almost got almost everything. This video is only going to be about her hospital bag. I'm possibly going to do mine. I'll probably do it right after this one. But I don't want to join it together because that would be really long. I'm holding the camera. It's so shaky. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I have everything. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and make this video. Hopefully I can help out. Other moms that are close to going to the hospital and, you know, confused about what they should bring. I have been scared that I was going to pack so many things that the hospital was going to provide. Which you really don't need that much for the baby. But I would say for you, you do need a good bit of stuff, like such as clothes and everything like that. And for recovery, I'm going to the hospital in seven days. Seven days. To give birth and to be induced so i'm really scared but i'm really excited it's just like i've watched so many videos on like people having their story time about their labor and delivery and all that and it's actually kind of helped me like i'm not really that scared but then at the same time i'm really just ready for her to be here so it's kind of like you know i'm excited like the past two times that we've had a scare and had went to the hospital you know, to see what was going on and everything, things that we thought, you know, could have been this and that. I wasn't nervous. I was actually really excited to go, really hoping that she would come because I'm 38 weeks. So, you know, it's, it would be, it would be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. Um, make sure you turn your post notifications on and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I do post. Because I am trying to post a lot more now. Let's see what's in her hospital bag. This is the bag that I got her stuff in. This is her diaper bag. And it has so many pockets. My mom actually got this for me for my baby shower. And it is honestly amazing. I'm not sure where she got it from. If any of you would like to know, I'm sure I could ask her and she could remember. Okay, so starting off, I have two of these sleepers. This one is really convenient because it unbuttons right here just so you can, you know, change her diaper. This is a size 0 to 3 months, and it's just plain and really cute. Then I have this sleeper. This is zip-up and also has built-in mittens where you can just put it over their hands so they don't scratch their face. And this one is just really cute to me. I love the animals and the colors. Two sleeping gowns. Here's just this plain gray and white striped one. And then I have this kind of mint green color one. I really love this one. Right here I have just a bunch of onesies. Um, these are to go like under sleepers and her cute little swaddle set and just anything like that. They're just two plain long sleeve onesies and they're both zero to three months. And then I have this just plain short sleeve onesie. It is size zero to three months. I also just have this one short sleeve onesie. I really like it because it's Nike and it's really cute. The color's really cute. And this one is zero to six months. And then I have these two cute just long sleeve onesies. They're both zero to three months. Next, I have just two pacifier clips. I really, really, really like both of them. And I couldn't pick, so I'm just going to take both of them. Then I have three pacifiers. Every one of them is different because you don't know. She could be picky and, you know, just to be sure, make sure which one she likes better. I am almost pretty sure that the hospital will give you lotion for your baby, but 
I'm just gonna take this one just in case and I really like this brand better. And one of the next things that I have is just cute little mittens so she don't scratch her face. And I have two of those and then I have just three pairs of plain white socks. I know they already give you wipes at the hospital, but I'm gonna be taking these ones instead, just in case. I also know they give you diapers. I'm just gonna take these just in case. I have two Pampers diapers and two Hello Bello diapers. So I'm gonna be taking two different cons, just in case I put either one of these on and it breaks her out, and then I could just use the other one, and then hopefully that one won't break her out. I have these two burp cloths. Um, I know they don't give you these at the hospital, so I just have these two. These are really cute. Next thing I have packed, I know they already have that hospital blanket that you can use as a swaddle, but I want to take my own. So I just have this cheetah print little swaddle, and then I have this super cute kind of yellowish mustard color. And then I have this pink swaddle, which is already... You know, like, it's easy to put on the baby. So, I thought this one would be really helpful. And I could definitely use this one. So, one of the things that you are going to want the most would be an outfit or a swaddle and a cute bow or hat or, you know, just anything like that to take pictures in at the hospital. So, I just have this really cute swaddle with these flowers on it. And then a matching hat. This is what she is going to be taking pictures in at the hospital. Another thing you are really going to want is a cute going home outfit. And for hers, I just have this cute little sleeper with her name on it. It's really cute. I really don't know which bow I want with it yet. Um, so I'm just going to take both of these. I really like the white one. I feel like the white one would look really good, but then at the same time, that one would be really cute too. Here's another thing that you really need and that you really want to put in your baby's hospital bag is hats. I just have these three. Okay, this is the last thing, the last things that I have in her hospital bag. And it's just these two bows and then this little hat, this cute little hat. But yeah, that's all I have packed for her hospital bag. And that is the end of this video. I hope for anyone confused on what to put in the hospital bag or anything like that, I hope this helped and I hope this, you know, helped you figure out what to do, what to put in your hospital bag. Make sure you turn your post notifications on for any other videos that I might post because I do post a lot and I'm trying to post more. Comment what video I should do next. Um, I am going to do what's in my hospital bag um, after this video. Comment what I should do after that. Yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this helped.